I woke up in a world that didn't want me. So generations ago, they bought me. Overseas, then someone bought me. From the auction block to the cell block, those chains still haunt me. I woke up in a school that never taught me. I had some issues that screamed for attention, not detention, but faculty without the C, if they can't see, spells faulty. I was expelled from six high schools in three states, and I'm in someone else's dream. I woke up when Willie got lynched in Ferguson. See, he wasn't the first one since Willie Lynch wrote that letter to make slavery better, ripped the father out of the home. To this day, Papa is a rolling stone, pinning the light skin against the dark, and I keep waking up before the Red Sea parts, and we're just actors in a park. So Russell Crowe stars in Noah's Ark, and Tyre Perry gives sermons and address redefining black art, while Willie got lynched for walking through the wrong park. And if Willie Lynch, Willie, will he lynch himself? Willie won't even see the doctor about his health. Will he tell for a slice of that warm apple pie, staring in starvation's empty eyes? Will that noose lead to child abuse? Do we still beat the devil out our youth? See, Trayvon Martin got lynched in front of the whole plantation, this nation. Willie Lynch told them to take the strongest, wildest man and publicly lynch him so the plantation understands a fear that lasts thousands of years. Their tears bled to God. Last night, Willie got lynched on Whaley and the Boulevard. Let them sing the blues as long as the family feuds. Let them rap if they sell each other crack. Nick, knack, patty whack, give a dog a bone. You might pay a mortgage, but you still don't own. We work to pay the rent until we get dizzy, because keeping us busy is being under Satan's yoke, or Willie's parole get revoked. Will he tell in that cold cell for a slice of that warm apple pie, staring in starvation's empty eye, will he cry? In two weeks, he went from two chains to two cheeks. Now his two kids are too traumatized to speak, and visiting their father through prison glass looks more like a movie screen, wishing they would wake up, and wondering, was it all a dream? See, I woke up in Washington, D.C., when Martin had a dream. But in reality, he was cashing a blank check called life and liberty. But the pursuit of happiness just happened to be based on nappiness. His speech was never titled, I Have a Dream. It was titled, Normalcy Never Again. As Mahalia Jackson was in the front row, shouted from the crowd, Martin, tell them about your dream. And he freestyled his dream into history. And we forgot that he said if Congress goes back into business as usual, they'd be in tune for a rude awakening. And I still hold a blank check, just like Michael Brown holds a noose around his neck. Because sometimes dreams just seem to stay stuck. So the best way to dream is to wait.